we need to change our little llama calendar for today. There we go. There is 20 days till Christmas. Woo! Good afternoon, friends, and happy Vlogmas Day 5. Today is the 5th of December. It's a Thursday. It's my beautiful niece Amelia's birthday today. She is five, so lots of fives going on today. It is the afternoon. I've just spent the morning editing the vlog from yesterday. It's another home day. It's actually my last home day until I have three full-on days at work, so I'm trying to sort of get as much as I can done today that I kind of want to do before I have three days of just, you know, work vision kind of thing. Today I'm thinking of just finishing off this block, so doing the last three bits of the snowflake and then see where we are at that point of the day. I've read a list of all the things I wanted to do. Oh, I also would like to crack out our Disney puzzle today. Uh, set it all up and, and get puzzling. I don't know what it's called. So yeah, I'll try and do that too. So what I might do is I'll do a little bit of sewing and then We'll do the puzzle. Just thought I'd share today's Christmas playlist. I will be listening to Diana Krall's Christmas Songs album. This one is one of my favourite Christmas albums to listen to. So I love jazz. And I love Christmas music. So I definitely recommend this one. And then I'd also recommend this one here. Ella and Louie Christmas. Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. As well as just the Ella Fitzgerald Christmas album. There's lots of classic songs on that one and then the Tony Bennett A Swinging Christmas featuring the Count Bassey Big Band this album is really great as well very jazzy very Tony Bennett-y uh, with some really great songs on it too okay so what do we think Snowflake is all done so again this is just for the center of the quilt so yeah I managed to get all of the other three bits done and I've also put on the border pieces for this part I'm very happy with it there are a few little bits that are a little bit squiffy so just you know ignore those bits there's that one and then this one up here I couldn't quite get straight but when you step away you can't really tell that much it looks fine so the time it's about two o'clock so I'm gonna have some lunch because I'm a bit hungry I don't think I'm gonna do any more sewing today because it's actually quite a hot day today it is let's have a look it's about 35 degrees today and it feels it I've just asked Siri how hot 35 degrees is in Fahrenheit and actually I forgot hey Siri how hot is 35 degrees in Fahrenheit? 35 degrees Celsius is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment. So it's warm. It is warm. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have some lunch, cool down a little bit, and then possibly after lunch I might crack the puzzle open. Oh my gosh. Would you call it sad when you're excited about cracking open a new puzzle? I mean, this one is a Disney Christmas puzzle. Look at how cool the snowflake looks in the background. That looks really cool. Oh my gosh, this quilt is going to be huge. Oh, I mean, that snowflake takes up like almost, almost the whole center of my design wall. Oi, anyway, it is what it is. Okay, it's puzzle time. I've just got the table out that we use for our puzzles. I just need to take the plastic off and then get all the pieces out and start. Yes! Ooh, look at all these fun little pieces. I cannot begin to describe just the smell of this puzzle. It's so yummy. It's like the smell of opening brand new pencils <laughs> you know how they have that distinct smell well this one has a distinct cardboardy puzzly smell <laughs> it's hard to describe but it smells so nice so I'm gonna just dig around and try and put some pieces together which is pretty much what a puzzle is all about so it looks pretty intricate the pieces are so tiny so I don't know how to start. Usually you start with like the corners and you do all the edges. Sometimes I like 
like finding a distinctive like part of the puzzle like for this one if I can get it to stand up for this puzzle I feel like it's the tree maybe or I should maybe start with Cinderella's castle or should I try and find all the pieces for the little house and then work, work my way around hmm or should I start with maybe like this corner and sort of work our way up because there's lots of different sort of colors and bits here that I can like try and find and then piece together look at that the chipmunks playing snowball that's cool so hmm, maybe I'll do that I'll concentrate on this corner yeah we'll, yeah. we'll see how we go update I've done the corner here I'm still trying to find a few little bits I'm starting to get one of the chipmunks and then this is Pinocchio here and then moving up we've got Jiminy Cricket here and he's directly under Goofy with his presents and then we've got Cinderella's castle so I'm still trying to find these bits here and sort of find the connection piece with that and the connection pieces for Goofy and this bit and this bit and oh, everything pretty much. I am really enjoying just having a nice afternoon doing a puzzle. I'm also watching the Santa Claus on Disney Plus. Santa Claus is one of my favourite Christmas movies so it's nice to sort of just have it on in the background and, and feel all festive. I actually haven't really been feeling festive. I'm not, I haven't I haven't got there yet so I'm trying my best to do lots of Christmassy things and listen to music and watch movies and do Christmas puzzles to try and feel a little bit more Christmassy but I'm sure it will it will get stronger as the month goes on. Last update on the puzzle for today I've been able to get most of this done I've just got a couple missing some of Pinocchio been able to join up Goofy to the castle. I started on Mickey as well as Minnie and Daisy and Pluto. It's time. It is time to do a little advent calendar. I don't know why I said it like that. It's time for the advent calendar. Let us see. Da -da -da -da. Very excited. Let's see what is in day five. It's here. Somewhere. Oh, it's all the way up the top. Oh, how are we going to do this? So day five is all the way up here. Hello, day five. Let's see what is in you, Trudeau. Jeez, they make these doors so hard to open. Oh, I ripped it. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's a handy sewing kit. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, that one was a lot easier to get out than yesterday's. So that's what we have in day five, a little sewing kit. Cool. I'm so tired. It's been a busy day today. It's just been one of those days where I've just sort of been doing lots of little things, kind of things. So yeah, I cannot wait to go to bed. Okay, so I think for the next couple of days, things are going to be a little bit different because I have three very full-on working days. I can't quite commit to like vlogging every day and uploading every day so what I'm I'll possibly do is I will film as much as I can Friday Saturday and Sunday and then put it all together into one video and then I will be back vlogging on Monday so then the next video will come out on Monday uh, so that will be my weekend vlog and then I will have my daily vlog starting back up from Tuesday. 
I think that's the best way to do it because I just I'm just gonna stress out too much and I don't really want to do that so I think it's just gonna it's just gonna be a lot easier for me and less stressful so I hope I do hope that's okay with everyone I'm sure it is because you guys are all so great and wonderful and amazing so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to vlog as much as I can Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Put it all into one vlog and put that out on Monday for you guys. So that will be Vlogmas Day 6, 7 and 8. They'll be all together into one video. I think that's the best way to do it, especially when I have full weekends at work. So, and now that I've said that, I will of course see you uh, tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. But I won't see you until... Monday when you see the video. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. If you're going to any Christmas parties or Christmas dinners or kids recitals or concerts or anything like that, I do hope you have a lovely weekend uh, attending that. And yeah, I will see you the next time I see you. Bye!